every time I come in the kitchen. <laughs> in the goddamn refrigerator. Eating up all the food. All the chicken. All the pig feet. All the pig feet. Calm down, babe. All the hog I'll be right back. Still got your location, it's still on. You followed you will. Okay, well, you need to leave. Nah, my, this should look nice here. What's up, Greg? Um, okay, Aaron, you need to leave. You can't. What about babe? I thought it was babe. There is no babe. You need to go. You can't be here. <laughs> nah. She look cute, though. Okay. I hold on. I'm seeing someone else. No, you're not. You're seeing me. We established like that. What are you talking about? We've been broken up for six months. Yeah, I know. I had time to think. I want you therapy and shit. I want you back. You saw a therapist? Yeah. Like a real one? A real one. Like a human being? Yeah. Don't you have a newborn baby? Come on, child. They don't, they don't even matter. You live with the baby mama. That don't even matter. We're not together no more. So? I want you back. I was stupid and you know, I was crazy. You know how I be feeling on that, on that yak. Okay, Aaron, I need you to wrap this up because my man is gonna be home any minute now and I'm not doing this with you. I'm trying to wrap it up right now. Um, okay. Um, I can explain. Who is this? This is Aaron. Um, he was just about to leave, actually. Aaron? Who was Aaron? My ex. But he was on his way out, so... And you invited him here? No. <laughs> Apparently he still has my location when we were together, but we're gonna block that today. Um, babe. Let's go have a seat. Babe. Come on. It's fine. You too, my man. Come on. Let's go have a seat. Come on. Now have a seat. We'll talk. First and foremost, let me tell you right now, baby. I'm not here to start war, and I'm not here to fight. I just want a clear understanding of what this is, and if y'all actually close, whatever happened between y'all. Yes. Nah. Yes. It seems like she's over it, but you're not. Why is that? She mine. We got six years in the bucket. So, whatever y'all got going on... Okay, do you know what you put this woman through? I know what I put it through physically. But what about emotionally? Because you put it through a lot. All the stuff I do as a good man, she find as a surprise because of you. I mean, look at her. Don't get me wrong, look at her. Who wouldn't want to be with her? She look great. But she need a good man by her side as well. Let me ask you a question. Do you actually want to commit? Without sex? Oh. Okay. Are you done with this? Yes. So you have to leave, respectfully. Back. I'm gonna walk him out. It was nice meeting you, bro. Hey, what up? <laughs> what just happened? I think Keisha should live down the street, anyways. Hello? Happy birthday, baby. 
Baby, you hungry? I got some food, but it might be cold now. Okay, babe. You need some help? Oh no, it's okay. You sit back, relax, and put on our favorite show. Okay. So how was your day? Besides the bullshit that just happened. keeps me wanting to live and express myself. I love art, it saved my life. I just wake up in the morning and whatever really makes my heart skip a beat. Life is the inspiration. To be around other players who basically have the same aspirations, dreams, it helps you further yourself along. When I moved somewhere where it was a bunch of artists, it actually sparked my creativity even higher. You can't let the world dictate who you are. You can't let people dictate who you are. You have to know who you are. You can be a genius. It's hard to do it by yourself, but when you have other geniuses around you and y'all just tapping in together, y'all on the same frequencies, man, it just... Flow. Art is like my therapy and my communication with the world and however you can interpret humanity and express it in your art and that be the communication is a beautiful thing. And every artist is mine, there's a mess. You know, the next thing might be your best thing, never stop creating. Art liberates the soul. That means so much to me because art has literally saved my life. I feel free. I feel extremely liberated. I get to really explore every single part of who I am through my art with no filter and that is probably the best part of waking up every day.